Hey guys, so it is day one of Book Expo and I am headed to the subway and I'm taking you along with me for the weekend. Today, Jane Finally made it to the Javits Center. You guys, this place is enormous. If you haven't been here before, um, that's great. Check it out. It is day one of Book Expo and there are so many huge banners for everything. It's an enormous space, but it's so exciting. So it's 10.30 and it has been crazy. Let me show you what I already have. I'm in line to see Lee Bardugo. They're doing chapter samplers of King of Scars, which I'm super excited about. And I just picked up a couple books. I got another copy of Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart, which will probably be going into a giveaway. And another one I'm excited about is Light Years by Cass Morgan, the author of The 100. So that should be really cool as well. Waiting in line for Alex Bracken and really excited because I love Tale, Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding and they've got arcs of book two. So I'm inserting a random picture of this amazing Red Rising wine glass from Enchanted Phantoms, but I thought I would just let you know, um, I did get to meet Alex Bracken, got my book signed, got the arc of the next one. I just forgot to get footage of it. Hi, I feel enjoy. It's Lainey Taylor, and she was so wonderful and lovely. It's three o'clock, and I literally cannot carry anymore. I think I might have to take a taxi home. This is crazy. I knew there were gonna be a lot of books. I did not realize how many. Uh, yeah, I maybe will do a haul and show you guys a little. Killing me, my shoulders are dying. Sorry, I know the lighting is not the best right now, but I thought I would give you guys a preview. I'm going to have to do like an enormous book haul when this is all said and done, but end of first main day of Book Expo. These are all of the middle grade books I picked up. I'm super excited about this one. This is the new Alex Bracken arc, um, the Prosper Redding book, and finished copy of Serpent's Secret. So excited. And V.E. Schwab's new middle grade, City of Ghosts. So I am really excited for that one. Oh, and... Dactyl Hill Squaw, Daniel Jose Elder. Anyway, I'm going to do a whole thing. Um, these are the adult books that I picked up. A lot of really good stuff. So I have a finished copy of Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I'm really excited. This is stunning. Um, I'm going to show this to you, actually. Priory of the Orange Tree. This is, um, this is stunning. I'm going to show this to you. This is the new Samantha Shannon book. And it's huge guys it's like a chunker i can't believe i got this look how gorgeous it is i'm so excited it's a standalone fantasy so that is super exciting um we've got some really cool debuts that i'm excited about yeah lots of fun stuff and then these are all the ya books <laughs> from day one. Oh my gosh you guys i can't believe it it's the craziest thing i had no idea the scale of the books at book expo um things i'm excited about dry this is the new neil shusterman book that he wrote with his son um i got this one signed iron flower and i don't know much about this one but it looks interesting but this is really cool looking this is a debut novel girls of paper and fire also a signed one that was really cool oh i know i already read and read um grace and fury and really enjoyed it so i'm going to throw that one into a giveaway for you guys light years is the new book by cass morgan who wrote the 100 anyway lots of really exciting stuff and there's more to come tomorrow which is crazy so guys like i don't even know how many books that is i've also got a couple of graphic novels and some children's books that i'm giving to my kids so um yeah, Book Expo is nuts. Also, I gotta say, I'm completely exhausted and my arms and shoulders may never recover from carrying all of these around. Tomorrow, I am definitely gonna bring myself a suitcase and put it in the bag check because, yeah, my body can't handle this. <laughs> it is day two of Book Expo, so I'm headed out. Um, today, I have my suitcase. So, hopefully. That will be better and not kill my shoulders quite as much 
so I have a few things on my wish list for today. Um, I would love to get the sequel to War Cross from Marie Lu. There's Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I'm really hoping to get into the Kate Morton signing because I haven't met her before and I love her books. Sorry, I don't know if this is loud enough, but first I've got to go get some coffee, get on the train, get in line for author signing tickets. So we'll see what happens. All right, talk to you guys in a minute. So guys, I'm kind of fangirling. I was in line at Starbucks to get some coffee and I saw Victoria Schwab and got a picture with her. She was super sweet. Um, I didn't think to do a video, so I will insert that picture here so you can see, but ah, I ran into her, it's so cool. I didn't get into the signing the other day, but I got a picture. So I'm in line to see Kate Morton. I'm super excited. I brought one book from home. It's one of my favorites. I don't read a lot of adult historical fiction, but I love her so much and I'm so excited to get an arc of her new book. Oh my goodness, that was insane, you guys. I just literally ran to get Muse of Nightmares because they released a thing for on Twitter and I got it, yes! <laughs> I'm in line for Marie Lu, the arc of the sequel to Warcross. I'm so, so excited, you guys, I cannot wait. Yeah. <laughs> she really well. So she was like so excited. Oh, I have video on. Oh, sorry. I'm finally gonna get this thing signed. Yeah, I definitely fangirled meeting Tomi, but she was just wonderful. I love her book. I also got to say hi to AC. I loved her first book in the series, Rain the Earth, and got the sequel. And then in an Epic Reads cocktail party for bloggers, I got to meet Marissa Meyer, and she was wonderful. We talked to kids. So, book con starts today. I am on my way. Slept in a little later this morning because I was tired from Book Expo, but looking forward to it. We've got some exciting stuff happening. I got to meet Marissa from Blatantly Bookish and Steve from The Lawn Gnome in person, and Olivia. I She is like the sweetest person, even in, in person. I got to see Susan Dennard. You guys know I love her. She wrote the Witchland series. She gave me something for a giveaway, and um, this is it. This is Book Expo. It was so great. Okay, headed to day two of BookCon. It's the last day of this four-day craziness, guys. Um, yeah, Whew. it has been quite a couple days. It's crazy. I got home last night at like 8.30 and totally crashed. Took a nap for like two and a half hours or something and then got up and like <laughs> wrote a book review and did some other stuff and then went to bed later, but like I was so tired. So I'm happy, it's my last day. And yeah, looking forward to seeing some of you guys there. It's been such a great time. I had so much fun yesterday. I had a great time interviewing Sandia Menon, who wrote When Dimple Met Rishi. She's so lovely and so sweet in person. I got to meet some other friends that I have never seen in person. So anyway, it's just been such an awesome experience. And I'm looking forward to the last day and then I have videos to edit. I had such a great time meeting people. I ran into Stephanie Garber. I got book signs, snagged an arc of Jennifer, Jennifer L. Armentrout's newest book. I got to say hi to Marco Shiro. His book, Anger is a Gift, is a debut, and it's wonderful, and he is just a lovely person. Here's Jennifer L. Armentrout. So that was really cool. And then I got to do an interview with Christina Perez. She is a debut author. Sweet Black Waves is her book, and it is wonderful. Keep an eye out for that coming up soon. Overall, I just had a really great time. I know I have some vlog footage on my camera, Camera. This is what I took on my phone, but in general, it was wonderful. Like, subscribe, and watch to see more.